Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a digital advertisement by using Photoshop. In this exercise, we are going to create a Facebook carousel ad. First, you will need to find information about the required image size for the ad. In the Facebook business page, it is stated that the dimension for carousel ad is at maximum of 1080 pixels width and 1080 pixels height. In Facebook newsfeed, the carousel image ad would look something like this, where you can scroll several product or service lists by clicking this button here. Now, let's get started by launching Photoshop. For this exercise, we are going to create an ad that would look something like this. It contains some ready-made graphics, text, as well as vector shapes with the colors as suggested in this composition. To begin, go to the File menu and choose New. In the New File dialog box, set the dimension to 1080 pixels width and 1080 pixels height. The background content setting should be set to transparent. Press Create. Now, I am going to use the ready-made graphics that I shown before, which are a PNG illustration made in Adobe Illustrator and a JPEG image of Adobe Animate logo. Select the Move tool in the toolbar and drag the PNG characters into your blank canvas. Do the same for the JPEG logo and place it right beside the illustration. Select the visual element in the layer panel to continue edit the particular graphic. Next, I want to add a flat background into our ad. To do this, select the rectangle tool and I am going to sample the color from this ninja illustration with the eyedropper and press OK. Click and drag in your canvas to draw the rectangle. Press enter when you are done. Create another background rectangle using the same method where I sample the colors from this girl dress. Let's resize these characters by selecting them in the layer panel first. Then, press Ctrl T in Windows or Command T in Mac to activate free transform function. Press Enter when you are done. I'm going to do the same with the logo by resizing and move it a little bit. Let's close these two files since we won't be using them anymore. To create a reflection effect for the characters, select its layer, right-click and choose Duplicate Layer. Press OK. Use the Move tool to slightly drag it down and then press Ctrl-T for Windows or Ctrl-T in Mac to flip it vertically. Let's place it just below the original illustration and press Enter. In the layer panel, Reduce its opacity to less than 50% at least. Next, select the logo layer and choose duplicate layer. Press Ctrl T for Windows, or Command T in Mac and drag it to flip the logo vertically. Again, reduce its opacity to at least lower than 50% in the layer panel. Now, it's time to insert some text into your ad. First, Select the eyedropper tool to sample the color from this logo for example. Select the text tool, type in your text in the canvas and press enter. Activate free transform again by pressing Ctrl T for Windows or Command T in Mac to resize the text. I want the text all in capital letters. In order to do this, Access to the character panel and click this top right icon, then choose all caps. Let's add another text with the text tool. Activate the text tool again to highlight the text. Go to the color picker 
choose the color and press OK. I can also change the font and weight from this top menu bar. Next, let's use the free transform method to resize your text. In this character panel, click this top right bar icon and disable all caps. Finally, I like to insert a shape below this text. To do this, select the rounded rectangle tool and sample the color from any of the graphics in your composition. Draw the rectangle by click and drag in the canvas. I also want to add some style to the existing text. So, select the text in the layer panel, right click and choose blending option. A layer style window will be opened. There are plenty of styles that you can apply. In this case, I want to manipulate the stroke option. Here, I change the size of the stroke and press OK. I can do the same for any visual element such as image and shapes in my composition. For example, I can select this rectangle layer and choose blending option. This time, I will choose the drop shadow option and adjust the parameters here. Press OK once you are done. In general, these are the techniques and workflow that I repetitively apply to insert the rest of the ad content. All you have to do now is add more text, resize, change their color and weight, and apply layer style when necessary. So good luck with your ad design and I hope you find this tutorial useful.